All right, the first actual kind of a big mod on the truck is actually changing out the headlights. These guys are outdated, they're freaking yellow. They look ugly. And I think the headlights are gonna give it a good facelift. Uh, the truck already came with HIDs, but because of the housing, I think they look super bright and I blind people like oncoming traffic. With these, these are projector headlights and I'll be able to adjust it to point a little more down. So that way it's not like glaring like straight at the people. Because every time I drive by, I could always tell that they're always like, you know what sucks? Mm. I never even got headlights for the GTI, but I got headlights for the Tacoma. Wait, how much was it? The headlights were like 460. They're Alpha Rex. They're right there. That's so, probably why, though. The GTI ones are expensive, no? The GTI, I think it's like 800, 900. A thousand. Yeah? That's around 900. there, I think. I don't know if they went down, though. My GTI is going to be jealous right now. <clears throat> but it, the GTI, is it the same style, just um, LED? Or different no, style. Different style. They're the seven point five, I think. You know how it sucks. After twenty seventeen, I think twenty eighteen, they gave them new new headlights. Yeah, and those are good even, ones. Yeah, and you don't even need to like update them. Yeah, they have some nice like little design too with the red stripes. All right, so all of these are ten mil, and it's got this uh this grill on the front, which is like aftermarket grill, and it has daytime running lights. These little these little lights right here. Uh, one side it's missing the clip. The other side has it, but besides that, it's all 10 mils. I could just use a drill. I think I could come, it could come out right now. So there is no pigtail to unplug. It's actually zip tied to the grill right here. And then the way that they made it run with the daytime running lights is they, uh, they tapped into the wire and they just kind of they made it like a Y. I think I could work it with it like this. Are these two turbos? No. <laughs> it would have been way faster with the freaking drill. Where's your drill? It's in the house. The one could be don't get it. What the hell? You act like you freaking left at someone's house. So there's one more right here. I don't know if you can see it, Michael. It looks like it's all the rusted one. Yeah. So I think I'm going to take out this little panel here so I can access this. And then that way it'll let go completely and then i just need to uh disconnect the the headlamps and then the whole thing comes out if i'm not mistaken how do you like your truck by the way do you like it or not you're over it no. you like it a lot oh yeah i don't have to worry about hitting a lot of things i could drive a lot more reckless a oh more. something went flying i think did it break it i heard like something like a rock or i don't know a clip. Oh, I did break. So now it can't clip? Yeah, Hold it'll on. clip. It's just, these parts are old. It's yeah. an 07. Come on, I'm gonna be careful. Okay, I'll, I will ask this. When you drive this car, then you switch to the GTI. Is there something you're like, oh, I kind of like that the GTI could do this, but then can't do something else? Probably just haul ass. Yeah. <laughs> just like if it's looking big. I think it's cool to cruise in the truck sometimes, just to be higher. Yeah. I think because this was lifted, I don't know how it feels to be a regular truck. The turn signal. Oh, is there a daytime running lights? Yeah. This one's tough to get to. Oh, I got the headlight, uh, the windshield fixed today. Oh, the got back? It. Dude, that's a small ass little turn signal. That's if it is a turn signal. So you fixed the uh, windshield on the truck, but not the GTI yet? No. I'm fixing everything on the truck, but on the GTI, I'm just neglecting it. I'll do that one next, though. Has it been getting bigger? Nah, it's just... I mean, this one, it bugs because it was right on the on the right-hand side, like the passenger. And then the GTI is right behind the, the rear-view mirror. So it doesn't really... It doesn't really bug me. Right, so first you take the gasket out, and then there's like, like a little pin. Then go really the other side. It. Look, it's got like a little gasket that you just have to pull out and then this pin right here you just press it in and then it releases the light and it should just come out and there's my HID the thing was hard to see now that the, all the lights are out everything's disconnected I hope everything's disconnected there goes one, there's two you told me it's holding on here too I think it's holding on one more place. There's one here. 
There's another one up there somewhere here. And it'll just release it. Damn! Here, <laughs> fuck that shit. Look. Uh, what was holding? This is what's holding it? No, yeah, this is what's holding it, but down here, the bumper is being held by this fucking bumper liner. Oh, I broke the bumper liner. It's holding on there. There was this screw. Where's the other screw? And then there was two down here that's what they're holding onto the uh, fender liner. So now. Same style, just different color, or just lights, or what is it again? No, it's the whole headlights. The whole headlight assembly. Different style, same style. Different style. Damn, they look slimmer, huh? Or am I wrong? Yeah, imagine I got the wrong one. Sleeker. Way of a big difference, huh? It works way better, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, is this supposed to be light work right here? Or are you gonna have trouble? What do you think? I have no idea. Pretty much get rid of this. In here. Oh, snap my bad. I was hoping I could use my uh, HIDs just to replace the halogen bulb that's inside the projector. But now that I'm looking at it, this light here, here's the connection for the light. Which bypasses everything, goes into this little area, and then powers the actual light. Now the math scientist doesn't have to go to work. Now just switch it with the GTI light. Poor Edwin. Super excited to get his shipment and then it doesn't work out. Story of our lives. Huh? I try to film this like three or four times and every single time I keep getting the wrong exposure because the headlights are a lot brighter than the actual background and it blows it out. So this time I'm doing it in the daytime. So let's see how this turns out. The things I wanted to show you guys is that when you start up your car right after you unlock it, the DRLs are white. They're white LEDs and if you turn on your car right away, they stay white. But if you wait a couple seconds, maybe like 10 to 12 seconds, uh, the headlights or the DRLs turn off and when you turn your car on, the DRLs are yellow or orange. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Let's start off by unlocking the car. This makes the DRLs turn white. And once you turn it on, the lights should just stay white. Flip it one notch over and you turn on the parking lights. This makes the DRLs dim down. And this looks a lot better than having the DRLs super bright white. So let's dim down the DRLs with the parking lights. Low beams. Now fog lights. Go back to low beams. And once again, just DRL. So there's actually a second option. We're gonna start by turning off the car. Wait for the lights to go off by themselves. Once the lights go off, go ahead and turn your car back on and we're gonna have some beautiful amber lights. This right here is one of my favorite looks, but I'm gonna take it up one more notch by turning on the parking lights. And right here is my favorite look. This just looks amazing. I love the look, I love the amber. And now low beams. low beams and fog lights back to low beams parking lights and lastly DRL back to my favorite option the parking lights amber DRLs and grill lights the amber lights with the grill lights I think that just looks amazing and honestly for that 400 bucks I think it's well worth it the low beams aren't that bright, but that's not something I'm really concerned about because if, it isn't, if I need something brighter, I'll just turn on my fog lights. Especially if I'm going, let's say, on an off trail, I have my uh, LED bar in the middle and then I have my ditch lights. So I think that covers everything. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Peace.